Hey everybody, welcome back. I just want to show off a cool new feature that's just been added to CSMM 2.6.0. Um, now, thanks to the hard work of Landmaster, you are able to add custom shop names to each of your boards. Um, so I'm just going to quickly show off how you can go about doing this yourself. Here we have the Castletown board made by my friend Sienna, and we're just going to have a look. Um, I'm going to be changing a shop name with their permission. So we're just going to open up the FRB file. And this is a feature that's always been here, but you can always customize um, which shop name is pulled by changing the number here. Um, by default, it's going to be the 9 ID, which corresponds to the 90 shop price shop, which is the scrap metal supplier. But if I wanted to change what it said instead of scrap metal supplier, all I have to do is go into download the um, new board template YAML that I have linked in the description. And this is what it's going to look like. And if you scroll down here, we have the segment that says shop names and then the language and then all of these IDs. Now, the ones providing this YAML are specifically shop IDs that aren't used in the vanilla game. They're empty. So they're good to fill with whatever you want. But if for whatever reason you want to um, replace other existing shop names, maybe this list here isn't enough. We can just go and add more, however we like, and that will replace the existing um, shop names. Um, so I'm just going to grab all of this real quickly. We also got other languages here if you want them, but I'm going to... So usually you would just delete what you don't want, right? I'm going to go to the other YAML we have already for Castletown. And I am going to pop that in here. It doesn't really matter where. Um, and we're just going to use number one, the unused shop ID, which would be like a 10G shop, which doesn't exist in the game. Um, and we're going to make this Mallow Mart because this is Castletown from Twilight Princess. Um, and then we'll save that. Or oh, get rid of the um, shop names we're not using. We'll save that. And then we'll go to this. And all we got to do is go to shop model here, change that to a one. You'll see it says unused, but when it's paired with the YAML and we've specified what the name for shop model one is, it's going to be Mallow Mart, and that will show up in game. So I'm just going to save that real quick. And let's get forward and I'll show you what it looks like in game. And so having a look, and there you see under the District L, it says Mallow Mart. And you can do this for any shop you want. Any of these shop names here, they can now be replaced on a per board basis, which is something that was never possible before. So yeah, um, this should open up a lot of avenues for creativity for board making from now on. So we really look forward to the kind of wacky stuff you can put out. All right, well, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or feedback, um, be sure to let us know on the Custom Street Discord. And we look forward to seeing what kind of boards you're creating. Um, don't forget, you can always submit them to our repository via GitHub. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you around.